Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hopping right into it. I'm taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm just going to apply that all over my eye. Since I'm using bright colors, I need a real good primer potion to just make sure the colors pop. Now with my 35B Morphe palette, I'm taking my Morphe 441 brush into this tan color and I'm just going to pop that in my transition area above my crease. This is just going to act as a base for all my bright popping colors. Now I'm taking my real transition color in this peachy orange color with the same Morphe brush and I'm just going to pop that right above my crease to create my transition color. Now taking my Morphe 443 brush into this hot pink color, I'm just going to use this for my crease color and I'm just going to blend that out to just make it a bold poppy pink color within my crease and to make sure it blends out perfectly with the soft pink and the transition color. So that's what I'm doing with this brush, with this old brush, the 441 brush, I'm taking that peachy color and blending it out. Now taking this E22 brush I believe, I'm taking these dark purples just to add some death into my crease. Now taking this Morphe brush, I have no idea what it is, and I'm using this flat brush just to carve out that crease look for my lid. Sorry the other clip wasn't so long, I was actually out of the frame so that it didn't look right, so I couldn't really show you guys. But now I'm just taking some Laurel Mercier powder and just setting that concealer and now taking a smudger brush to define that purple more so, so you can see the cut in the crease. Now I'm taking this Stila Magnifying Metal eyeshadow in the color Rose Gold Retro and I'm just applying that to the lid. This is so pretty y'all. It was I saw it in Ulta and I had to grab it to like look at it. Now I'm just adding some white shimmery highlight under the brow bone. Just gonna apply it right there and then blend it out so it won't look so chalky. And I thought something was missing in my inner corner so I applied that same color to my tear duct as well. Now taking that same flat brush that I used for the concealer, I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash. See me out the frame again. That's why I cut the last clip. So sorry about that again. So I'm taking that purple and that pink with the flat brush and just smoking out my bottom lash line. Now going straight into the face, I use my Cover of X primer. I'm not sure which one it was, but now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Amber and just applying that to my face. Now I know it looks a little light now. And when I actually first got it, I thought it was too light and I was about to return it. But then I let it sit on my face. I guess it oxidized a little bit. And it actually somewhat came out to be my color. So I think I'm going to keep it. And then I tried to put on like this foundation. I mean, I'm sorry. This concealer that was darker to see if it will blend out right. Like I've seen people do two different color foundations at the same time. But that didn't really work. So <laughs> that was a waste. And then I just tried to blend it out with a dry beauty blender when I knew daggone well I needed a wet one. So now I have a wet beauty blender and I'm just dabbing that out on my neck and my face. Now I have some dark marks so I had to go in, <clears throat> lord I have a cold, so I had to go in a second time with the foundation but it's very buildable and it came out really like full coverage after I did this the second time so that I couldn't see any of my dark spots so that's a plus. And again, just dabbing that out with a damp beauty blender. With this kind of stick, yeah, it was definitely not working with a dry beauty blender. With anything, it barely works with a dry beauty blender. You have to really dampen your beauty blender some. Now I'm just taking my um, LA Girl Concealer in the color Fawn, as always. And I'm just going to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And dab that out with the same damp beauty blender. Now I was trying to figure out if I should have smoked my under eye out after I put on the concealer but I tried to just avoid it and I think I did a pretty good job avoiding it. So, But future reference, I probably would smoke out that bottom lash line after I highlight. And don't mind my hair, I know it looks somewhat of a mess but I was really just trying to get this video out for you guys because I haven't done it in such a long time. And now I'm just taking this Sasha um, Buttercup setting powder and just setting under my eyes and everywhere that I've highlighted. So that's my chin, bridge of the nose, and my forehead. 
Now I'm taking the LA Girl Concealer in the color, I don't think this is dark cocoa, I think this is chestnut. And I'm just going to use this as my contour while letting that Sasha Buttercup setting powder bake on my face. And now I'm just going to wipe it off because I don't want it to sit on there too long. It bakes for like a good two minutes while I apply the contour. I'm just going to wipe that off. And now blend out my contour. kind of wish I had a brush to do some like circular blending swivel like motions but I kind of do it with the beauty blender. It kind of serves the purpose but until I get a brush I kind of just go in circular motions with my beauty blender and then I dab it out afterwards. Now taking my Bobbi Brown bronzer in the color Deep 4 I believe. And I'm just going to set that contour because with any cream you got to set it with a powder so. And I've been using this bronzer for years. I just like how it brings color back to my face. And now of course spray until your heart's content. Spray, spray, spray because the more I spray the more natural looking your face looks. So now I'm just adding on this pink MAC lipstick and you guys are going to hate me for not knowing the color but I really don't. I think it faded on the bottom. And that's it, y'all. This was just a quick tutorial I wanted to bring you guys. A rose goldy-ish, pinkish cut crease. And I hope you guys like it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Y'all guys get the slow-mo for a little bit. Okay, now, bye. <laughs>